We have a 1947 South Bend 9 inch, uh, what do they call it, a, a workbench style lathe. Um, this is my grandfather's. Uh, my dad and I, when he passed away, pulled it out of his old little workshop in Southern California. And uh, it's got all the dies and stuff for it. As you can see right here, it's got a yeah, 9 inch precision lathe, South Bend. Got all original paperwork for it, dies, cutters. Lots of old cool stuff. Believe it or not, my dad actually uses this thing. I mean, on a weekly basis. It's got a manual speed. So it's got different drive pulleys on it, so you can get different speeds. You just switch, move the belt like this. Then pull this handle over and it tightens the belt and locks it in. And then here's your forward and reverse. Uh, it's got the drill piss, as uh, one pug would say. But uh, it's it's a good machine, actually, for being just about prehistoric. Um, something for your home and your garage. Um, it's pretty bulletproof. Uh, my grandfather was a machinist, so it's actually maintained very well. It's pretty hard to find things like this in this good of condition that weren't either scrapped post-war or um, or pre-war even for that matter or that they just weren't beat on and used. I mean this is actually the original belt from 47. I think we had to put some new cleats and a tie in it but other than that. I mean original cord. Kind of sketchy but at least it's got a surge protector. But I've used it a few times. Um, just to grind down a few things or you know if i had a bolt that was i needed a large uh od on top and a skinnier id and on, in, on the inside of something i've used it Not the most precise thing in the world um just given its age but um it does work and it's pretty awesome i've seen lathes like this in similar condition pretty cheap um you know around 15 1800 bucks considering that you know a good used uh modern lathe would you know run you tens of thousands of dollars so anyway i know this is kind of a random bit for a guy who normally does bikes and cars but i just thought i'd show this thing i'm i'm pretty proud of it i mean obviously i didn't make it but uh, i watched my grandfather run this thing when i was a kid and my dad still uses it to this day and once in a while when i'm over here i use it and there's proof still shiny not even rusty yet so i had recently used it um, also these smaller, because this one's only a 9 inch, um, plastic. A lot of people don't think a lathe will do plastic. You run a real low speed so you don't get a lot, so the plastic doesn't melt. You can actually turn down pipe. Um, like even just, if you have plastic PVC conduit or something, you know, you want to trim different size or coupler, or who knows, even if you're just making something custom. Uh, these things do a great job. Anyway, that's it for a 1947 South Bend 9-inch workshop lathe.